Are you a filmmaker or creative entrepreneur? Do you love making films and wonder how will you ever distribute and reach the masses? The entertainment industry can be intimidating and it used to run on a monopoly. Big studios and companies own the access and dollars to be the ones to dictate projects to be seen each year. Only the big boys could play. We live in a digital world now and things are slowly changing. This video will help you start self-distributing your projects with six easy steps. To do that, let's learn how a couple of filmmakers threw traditional distribution out the window and made millions. Like, subscribe, you know what to do. I've created this channel to help filmmakers understand that it's not practical to continue chasing down the distribution unicorn. Selling the rights to a major distributor in exchange for a large check is not how things work anymore in the entertainment industry for independent filmmakers. I'll be using Christopher Rufo and Keith Aqua as an example of a success story in self distribution that will hopefully help you understand this process. They are both documentary filmmakers who set out to figure out the film distribution game after producing a few films and getting ultra low offers to buy. One film in particular is the documentary Age of Champions, which tells a story of five competitors up to 100 years old who chased gold at the Senior Olympics. What did they do? They rolled up their sleeves and got to work. Before giving you the six steps Rufo and Aqua took on their way to self-distribution, I'll give you a quick spoiler of the results. They spent more than two years distributing. The film generated more than $1.5 million in revenue. More importantly, they got enough money in the bank to fund their next project and made the jump from part-time filmmakers to having a sustainable creative career. Whoa, now we're talking. The six steps to film self-distribution. Experiment and define your audience. Finding your audience is the first step on the long road of your film's distribution campaign. As early as possible, you need to start conducting experiments to find a concrete group of people who will pay for and spread the word about your film. A good tip for this is trying to find things that would interest your audience. Build a persona. In marketing, a persona is a composite sketch of a key segment of your audience. Try to build about three to five of these and experiment with each one. You want to know who the person is, what they value, um, the best way to speak to them. See, Rufo and Aqua shared the film with nonprofits and businesses in the senior health community, places like senior centers, retirement homes, senior health companies, and they loved it. They wanted to know how to purchase it and share with their local communities. Play hard on direct distribution. Although eventually, Age of Champions landed a national PBS broadcast, Netflix deal, and iTunes slash Amazon distribution, the vast majority of the revenue came from direct distribution on their website. Create a range of products like DVDs, community screening kits, uh, educational licenses, and merchandise. Then set up a simple online store using something like Shopify. Focus your marketing efforts, driving traffic to your website. See, for Age of Champions, anytime someone purchased the film, a series of automatic emails was sent to encourage people to tell their friends and buy additional products. In the end, they sold more than $300,000 in DVD kits and merchandise directly through their website. This number represents 10 times more than all traditional distribution revenue combined. I understand that some of you might be thinking that this is a little too much for your project. I'm speaking to an audience who believes in what they do and want to do it as a lifelong career. To make money, you need to invest some of it. Thankfully, there are so many resources out there to help you take steps in the right direction. In this case, Shopify is an amazing platform, not sponsoring this content, that will help you set up an online store in just minutes without having to break the bank. Okay, moving on. Create profitable screenings. Community screenings are a fantastic way to create a human-to-human -human connection with your film. The trick is to make them profitable. Create a screening kit that includes a DVD, discussion guide, posters, postcards, and cheap giveaways. Everything an event host needs to organize a successful screening. Age of Champions sold 3,000 screening kits and generating more than $250,000 in sales. Pitch yourself as a public speaker. 
When an organization purchases a screening kit, send three automated emails letting them know that you are available as a speaker. You can price speaking fees from $2,000 to $5,000 plus travel expenses. Always be clear and upfront. Rufo and Aquad booked more than 125 speaking events and generated over $450,000 in speaking fees and follow-up sales. Did you know that you can sell your DVD to consumers for $25 or sell the exact same DVD and an academy license to universities for $250? Create an educator's guide written specifically for an academic audience, which Rufo and Aquad priced on their website at $250. To drive sales, they bought a list of emails for university libraries, and they also attended a couple of conferences and directed all of their marketing efforts and outreach efforts to their website. Age of Champions sold $88,000 in academic licenses and another $26,000 through a non-exclusive deal with an educational distributor. Get corporate for big check sponsors. This last step is only for people who can muster the hard work of self-distribution. It is the most difficult to negotiate, but pays out big in the end. Put together a long list of companies that have a customer base aligned with your film's core audience. Next, pitch corporate brand teams and use the success of community screening campaigns as proof that there was a good fit. Age of Champions ended up selling 15 second spots to Procter & Gamble, Rite Aid, and Healthways for $75,000 a piece and overall made over $500,000 through corporate sponsorships and sales. That's it. I hope this guide gave you a little bit more clarity on what it means to self-distribute your film. The case study I pointed at is real and I hope it inspires you to take action. It's now realistic to tell your story and reach the masses in a way that can never be done before. What have you tried so far in film distribution? Let me know in the comments below. We're continuing to navigate what it means to tell our story and reach the masses. Join me on this journey to learn the power of storytelling to drive success, growth, and influence. See you next week.